Hello my fellow hammerheads and welcome to the sixth short story of the Broken Realm series. Before we begin, I recommend that you subscribe to the Games Workshop community newsletter, so you can enjoy these stories two days before they are being published on the official homepage. Now, I won't waste any more of your time, let's begin. The Hateful Stasis, read by Beard Almighty. It was a revel unlike any other. It was a parade of sin that would scar a realm for generations. An outpouring of depravity to compete with those that ragged through the absent prince's own halls. And Gasterix was missing it. The Lord of Pain did not recall pledging his allegiance to treacherous Zinj. Shifting blues and lurid heliotrope pink had never been his colors. Nor did he particularly lust for command over the sorcerous arts. Yet surely, Gasterix mused, such a change of heart must have occurred for him to be blessed with such a tritely ironic fate. Had it not been he, Gasterix, the Realm Strider, who had besieged the Black Towers of the Canite Elves, was it not also he, most artfully agonizing of Slanesh's beloved, who had sailed with the herald Sinhart to Hagnar and bought time for ungrateful Morathi to complete her pretty ritual and bring the prophecy of parturition to pass. And for this devoted service, Gasterix had been relegated to leading the Sybarites that defended Urgu's abyssal hollow, allowing those in the shadow of their protean god spawn to offer their ecstatic worship uninhibited. It is outrageous. Gasterix muttered, as he stared from atop the rocky outcrop into the murky depression below. It is an abominable insult. Abominable! Passam screeched at his side. That Gasterix had not been addressing the Blissbarb archer did not seem to register as Passam flung his arms wide gilded chains rattling where they did not loop through flesh. A truly odious... Shut up, Gasterix snapped. By the six delightful hells, shut up. I never thought fawning could aggravate me so until I met you. The urge to stave in the Blissbarb skulls flared up, not for the first time. Gasterix was reaching for his sheathed mace when the painmaster Ralt stepped to his right. Our scouts have returned. More are coming. Ralt's voice was unemotive, almost to the point of parody. Gasterix could tell little about the Myrmidash beneath their gilded helm. His anger forgotten as quickly as it had arrived. The Lord of Pain sighed and clicked his tongue. The Blood God swells? he asked, rolling his eyes as Ral nodded. Even since the revel had begun, Korn's armies had been hurling themselves against the Abyssal Hollow. A maddening influence had taken hold of them that saw them barrel through the trickster mists of Ulgu to assault the sacred ground in near constant waves. Some had come close to breaching the defenses, leaving mounds of butchered hedonites in their wake. This latest incursion was likely no more than a warband, but Gasterix was not so blithe a tactician to discount it. Ral shrugged. They name themselves the Gore Slake. Naturally. It's always Gore this, skulls that with them, muttered the Lord of Pain. Another cacophony of delirious ecstasy rose from behind the Sybarite defenses 
as the god thing pulsated. From the way Ral exhaled and Pasithan shrieked. It seemed they felt the writhing in their souls too. Yet all that left Gasterix was a frustrated growl. What about those ones at Nayroth's Ridge? What were they called? The Flayed. The Flayed. Now that was a name. Jesterix beamed, suddenly a violence filling him. Crude, but it showed a bit of imagination on their part. No sooner had he finished speaking than howled battle cries heralded the arrival of a mass of blood reavers who emerged from the murk at the lopping charge. The Lord of Pain straightened and clapped Ral's shoulder with a furious grin. Well then, perhaps this won't be all bad. Even as rains of barbed arrows fell down upon them, the Blood Reaver's charge never faltered. Murder flashing in their eyes. As they crashed against Ral's painbringers, the melee became a maelstrom of joyous, howling screams. Ral wielded their blade with customary flair, severing the heads of two barbarians in a single precise swing, even as another of the Myrmidash was hacked apart under a flurry of axe blows. Pain Lord! As Gastric lifted his barbed mace from the spasming wreckage of a blood reaver, a guttural voice attracted his attention. The hulking horned figure shouldered his kin aside with irrepressible fury, muscles flexing beneath ruddy flesh. The brute soon drew up before Gasterix and hefted an oversized axe, skull rune of corn blazing where it was carved into his chest. I am Ronos, born of demons, deathbringer of... Normally, I would hear your oafish posturing out in full. Gasterix cut in, sighing as the Deathbringer flinched in surprise. But I'm in foul humors today. Can we hurry this along, wretch? With a roar, Ronos flung himself forward with a speed that caught the Lord of Pain quite off guard. Gasterix staggered as the axe sunk into his bare chest. It was not a deep cut, or at least not a lethal one. And the champion felt his spirit soar once more as blessed agony cursed through him. Hurling himself backwards, blood sheathing from the wound, Gasterix laughed and parried a follow-up strike with the shaft of his bludgeon. For a time, the two simply traded blows. Ronos' bloody rage seeing him shrug off torturous impacts as Gasterix started aside from the Deathbringer's axe. Gasterix was preparing to deliver some new acrobic remark when a rush of mania filled his soul. The frenzied straining of something desperate to be born writhed against reality's shackles with such force that it set the ether quaking. All the Hedonites felt it, a fire in their mind that spurred them on to greater murder-making. Setting upon the staggered Ronos with renewed fury, Gasterix was barely in control of himself and only loosely aware as the head of his mace crashed against the false skull over and over and over. Gasterix! The honey-sweet intoning of his name snapped the Lord of Pain from his frenzy. Staggering, he glanced down to the ruin of brutalized flesh that had been Ronos, born of demons, as the last few blood reavers fell around him. Gasterick's attention, however, was irrepressibly drawn to the luminous figure before him. Glavia Sinhart's smile was beautific as they stood atop a carpet of writhing, moaning bliss barbs. Even for one of the Dark Prince's handmaidens, the demon had always possessed an otherworldly quality. Since arriving at the Abyssal Hollow, they had become practically radiant. Their opalescent eyes filled with divine purpose. 
even as he scowled. Gasterix fought not to be smothered by those hypnotic orbs. You promised me glory, Divine One. You said that I was to stand at the side of the prince. Gasterix all but spat the words, leveling his mace at the demon. Yet I am contempt to this? Gasterix, Sinhart cooed. One of the demon's slender arms extended, a hand brushing the champion gently beneath the chin. Anger ebbed from the Lord of Pain as he felt his soul twitch. Our loyal realm strider, so many prove themselves false, but not you. You have always been a true servant. The time of Genesis will come, when we are blessed with hearing the divine voice and witnessing the glittering talents that will shear reality in twain. Who will it be known fought with such vigor? Glavia was flattering him, Gasterix knew. Yet was flattery not a sacrament to the Dark Prince? And if it was indeed his pride that trapped him in this task, then was that in self not a form of worship? But when? the Lord of Pain asked, gazing at the demon as fury was replaced with rapturous need. When will it be time? Glavia's cherubic smile only widened as they looked up, gazing to a horizon no other could see. When the mirror of man's minds lie open to us, and the stolen banquet is offered once more, then, my sweetling, then all we desire will become ours. <laughs>